worship you. We exalt, we magnify, we lift you up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. Oh, my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake
if you truly have a revelation of what you are singing, if you, if you can just have a revelation of what you are singing, after you with his goodness. There is nothing you can do that will make you run faster than his goodness. Because his goodness will still chase you, catch you, and do for you what you couldn't do for yourself.
Banda la masa tanya masa tanya. Kurabal sekeju musiki. Kalimondo oye musiki di dalam. Kurimasun delebe. Kata mangun delebe musiki. Kalamando o sekeluba. Karabasuti lingandaga. Repekuta ya mando. Kata. Come on, open your mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Kalamando. Yekelea. Come on, let me hear your voice. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Kalamande lebe kuli alabashata. Kalamande pikusi kili kadakaya. Mama Mande, Oya Mazukaya, La Cote Lemendo, La Cote Lemendo, La Cote Lemendo, La Cote Lemendo, La Bachata Yaba, Ramando, 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 La Pata Yaba, Erico Sente de Bebe, Erico Sente de Bebe, Erico Sente de Bebe. Le mande be kuri alaba shande le be kuri akata ya. Oi katari abakori arabakori alaba shanda ya. Kele be kuri alaba shata ya. Lange le be kuri alaba shata. Mande le be kuri alaba shata. Whatever has been conceived in the demonic womb of the spirit against your destiny, today I command it to be aborted. Let it be aborted. Let it be aborted. Kapamande okotolobo yinkataya shato ribo shiki. Lankete, Lingada Bakoria Bakoria Bak. Every demonic contention against the manifestation of words spoken, prophetic words over your life, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Kamamamando, Yikelemondo, Yikelemondo. Lakata lava, Uriman Shingle Gadaga, Ekotolobo Korea. I declare that the devil will not destroy your family. He will not destroy your marriage. He will not destroy your marriage. He will not destroy your family. Lemon, Kamo Shikili, Labo Shikili. La mo shikili, la po shikili, mama mande po koteke, le pe kuti kili kataria, mande be kusi kili ka, la kata yoko shiki, li galaba, buriyama, ruyama. No demonic conspiracy will take the package that God has given to you. 
their plans will never stand. Their plans will never stand. Every marriage delays today. I command it. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. Shikarababa doboko. Nande uriba kuri abashata. Kalamana. Oye moshenga. Oye moshenga. Oye moshenga. Oye moshenga. Labo shenga. Labo shenga. Elebe shuka. Randebe. Uli katala. Uli katala. Mante urobo shiki lakata robo shiki ilaba shata rakata rapado bokoria. I declare that dry season is over in your life. No more dry season in your life. No more dry season in your life. Come on. Ribo siki libo shoto dobo, iki tolo bo siki libo dobo bo, iki lobo siki libo bobo dobo. Kalamando, kalamando, ikoto, ikata, lebekuri alaba shata, kalaba shekeli ababa. You will never keep appointment with premature death. I command every death cancel, every death contract. I command it cancel now. Cancel now. Cancel now. Cancel now. I hear the sound of abundance. I hear the sound of abundance. Shalama Sheke. Shalama Sheke. Shalama Sheke. Hey, baby, shut it. Listen. <laughs> you are going to use your mouth. To command acceleration. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Verse 6. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak. For I'm a child. Your mouth is not just a body part. Your mouth is not just a body part to eat or to talk. It is meant to command and take control and take charge of your life. To execute judgment as a king. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. I didn't tell you to release those who are coming late. I didn't tell you to release them. Or oh, just be careful with me. In the services we are holding. There's no reason why people should not be in service. It's 9 o'clock, 9 should be 9. 
and a service is going on from 9 till 10. Somebody is still coming late. Be not afraid of their faces from with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, he said, the, the reason I put my words in your mouth is for one reason. And this day set thee over the nations, over those demonic forces, over those challenges, over that sickness, over that disease, over that complication, over that delay in your life. For what reason? Over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down. To destroy and to throw down. To build and to plant. That's what the mouth is. You know it here. That the close mouth is a close destiny. My body itches when a song is going on. And, and you are putting your hands in your pocket. You have become God's mate. You can't open your mouth and sing. You don't know it's a weapon of warfare. My body it is when we are called to pray. And it's only the person with microphone. I'm going to stop people who are leading in prayer from using microphone. They will announce the prayer and everyone should pray. Pull down, root down, tear down, throw down. Build and plant with your mouth. With your mouth. <laughs> Eleven, watch this. How does it connect to haste, to speed, to accuracy, to acceleration? Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see an a rod of an almond tree. I now see myself as one with authority. Look at what God said. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, because that's what I've been trying to show you, that the devil is not in charge, that you are in charge. For I will hasten my word. The thing you put in your mouth, I will accelerate it. And make sure it comes to pass. Kababande. Lokotei manda. Ole moshik linga nda gada. Oi rebe kuti kili nda gada. Lange teho. Lange deho. Lange deho. Why? The scripture says in Ecclesiastes 8 4. We are the word of the king is what? Revelation 1, 5 and 6 and Revelation 5, 10. He has made us kings and priests to reign on the earth. To reign on the earth. Huh. Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. I'm tired of the devil dictating your life. I'm tired of him telling you when to eat and when not to eat. I'm tired of him controlling all your doors. Enough is enough. I said enough is enough. You are going to use your mouth to abort every evil. To abort anything. A miracle is already taking place all over you. Chains are falling off. Handcuffs are falling off. Bondages are being broken. It's a new dawn. I told you when the year started that God is set to, to reveal his arm of science and wonders and miracle like you have never seen before. Kalamana! And you will see it's not the work of a man. You will see.
in the next few minutes open your mouth wide forget about anyone around you and begin to make declarations over your life come on begin to make declarations come on Shaba, 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 Shaba. Ole bo 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 de ba bo. Wet, lava, shekele, le mama mando. Shaba, no bo siki. Shada huwa. Where is your turn? Bring him. Come here. Meet me here. Shandele de. Laba Korea Baba ba. Shatolia Laba Korea Baba Shatalia Baba Baba Come on Come on Lepo Sit Leave him Laba ba Korea Baba Shata Kalabo Shiki Kalobo Shiki Kalobo Shiki Kalobo Shiki Kalobo Shiki Kalobo Shiki Loose now Kada Otemuta Kulemande, ushikilinganda, ukalabatoke, yabakakote, yabakakote, yabakashote, loose now. Shandalala, oyema, 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 oyema. Kalababa, 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 kalababa. Laba ba laba kori aba, yaba kari alaba. The yoke is broken, broken, broken now. Shande o kori aba ba. Kala ba ba, kala ba ba, kala ba ba. Hey. Now, now, not tomorrow. Now, now, not tomorrow. Now, now, not tomorrow. No more, no more harassment, no more molestation. I speak the blood over your life. I speak the blood now. I speak the blood now over your life in the name of Jesus.
I cause sickness. I cause disease. I cause cancer. I cause diabetes. I cause fibro. I cause high blood pressure. I cause stroke.
Jesus name in Jesus name See, talking acceleration, when you get home, you read Genesis 30 and 31. But the nutshell, Jacob had been robbed of his wages. And he was going to leave his uncle empty without anything. He'd been cheated. And there was no way he was going to bounce back. Then he took a bold step and said to his uncle, Laban, he said, I'm going away, but you have not given me anything. And Laban looked at him thinking, who, is, who does he think he is? Then let me give him an opportunity to name his wage. And Jacob said to him, you know, all these cattle belong to you, all the goats, all the sheep, they all belong to you. Let's remove all the ones that have colors. Everyone that has a spot, color, or whatever, I'm, I'm saying it in a language you'll understand. Let it be yours. Let all everyone that have color take them. Let it be your wage. The one that don't have color. The one that has just one solid color, let it be mine. And by the time they separated everything, it was like he was left without anything. Somebody shout acceleration. And the Lord came to him in the dream and revealed a strategy to him. One strategy can change your life forever. One idea can bring an end to all the struggles you've been going through over, your, over time. Told him exactly what to do. That's why when you are busy about every other thing other than, other than focusing on Jesus, Jesus said to me, matter, 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 you are cumbered about many things, but your sister Mary has chosen a good part, a better part, which will not be taken from her. Mary has plugged into the key. Only one thing you need is all you need. I told you first Sunday there, you must give Jesus time. He must be priority. Make him your priority. How could Jacob have been able to receive the revelation if God was not his priority? Gave him step by step of what to do. By the time all, all, all is said and done, and they came back, everything, you know the, you know the Bible account? Listen to this. Jacob was answering them. Answering the children of, of Laban. He said, from verse 6, he said, that is Genesis 31 from verse 6. He said, you know that with all my power, Genesis 31 from verse 6, you know that with all my power I have served your father. And your father had deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said, if your father said, everyone that has color is his own. That's what he said. If he said, the speckle shall be thy wages, then all the cattle, all, they are speckle. If your father said, it is a black that will be your wages. Somehow, 
all the colors will turn black. <laughs> and if he said, God, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring straight. How can that be? I told you that this, we are talking about supernatural operation. In other words, head or tail. That's what he said. Verse 9. He said, listen, it is God had taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. It is God. If you have a problem, go and talk to him. Let there be a turn around. Let there be a turn around. Let there be a turn around. That's the heritage of the believer. Overnight, everything he lost restored. They say you are serving God in vain. And I declare by the authority of heaven, they will change their testimony. They will change their testimonies. show you this tonight. <laughs> Look at Genesis 37. Genesis 37 verse. From verse 29. And Reuben returned unto the pit. Remember what God assured Joseph that he was going to be king, ruler over the rest of the people. But his brother said that we are going to deal with him. Let's see what becomes of what God said. Let's see how what God said will happen. This is an aspect people don't see. <laughs> and Reuben returned unto the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit. And they rent his cloth of many colors, which the father gave to his father gave to him, his robe. And he returned unto his brethren and said, The child is not, and I whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood that is the that is the joker that verse lies the joker in the life of joseph when i see the blood answer me when i see the blood that kid they killed is a type of jesus The blood has been applied. How can you kill Joseph? He has become unkillable. They did not know. They did not know that what transpired there will make Joseph. It's a, it's a bounce back mechanism. And as a result, when they sold him, he got to Leba, to, to Potiphar's house. He, became, he came on top. Potiphar's wife framed him. He came on top in prison. In prison, they forgot him. God was waiting for Pharaoh, for everything to be positioned. And Pharaoh had to dream a dream. No one will ever remember the dream until they bring out Joseph. Look at speed. Look at speed. Genesis 41. Verse, verse 14. 
Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph because they told them, they, they told what they, they, they bought land, remember that it was Joseph who interpreted this dream. He forgot him for two years and it was deliberate because time was not right. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph that they brought him out. How? How? We speak out of the dungeon and he shaved his, himself. Look at the things that, look at instant transformation. He shaved himself, changed his raiment, and came unto Pharaoh from prison to palace. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> when you read the rest of what happened, by the time he finished his interpretation, Pharaoh said you are the, after only in the throne, you are the spiritual ruler. Only in the throne. You ride my, my the executive horse. Executive protection and security is yours. He said, read it. He said, it's only through your word when you speak. It's like the king has spoken. Speed. Everything dramatic overnight. I command overnight turn around for you. Overnight turn around for you. Overnight turn around for you. Listen. Nehemiah 6 15. Told you, I'm not in a haste with this. Look at the wall. The, 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 so the wall was finished in 50, 20, 20 and 55th day of the month in 52 days. The wall was finished in 52 days. Now, when you hear it that way, you say, hey, what about it? Go and Google it. That wall was built in four and a half years. That's when it was built. That wall was 2.5 miles in length. That wall also was 40 feet in height. That wall was 8.2 feet in thickness. It took them four and a half years to build. But with Jehovah stepping in, only 52 days. Kanda, I release the speed anointing upon your life. I release the speed anointing upon your life. I release the speed anointing upon your life. Everything you have lost shall be recovered. You will recover all. 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 God goodness is running after her. He's not running after me. Testimony is coming in. I have one here. Let me quickly read it. Someone sent it to me. My acceleration has started. That's what he said. He said, during the kingdom life, I knew I wanted to make a pledge. Did you see that? She didn't say that they, she wanted to make a pledge because somebody forced her to make a pledge. The Spirit of God spoke to her. 
the spirit of God witnessed to her that she, he should make a pledge. Because at times when these things are done, some of you prefer to listen to social media. People who don't know where we are coming from. They don't know how far God has taken us. And they are, and, and they are manipulating you, confusing your mind. And, and unfortunately, some, some, some innocent Christians are listening to such garbage. It's all the, your money they want. They want your money. All these pastors want your money. I don't need to start a church in order to make money. I knew I wanted to make a pledge, but I didn't have, know how much I was willing to do as my salary was very small. So it's not about how big your money is. Is the obedience to the Holy Ghost. So I decided to trust God for direction. Every day I waited with hope. With the hope that I would get one direction from God. On Thursday, after Pastor Paul ministered, I heard in my spirit, it is the 40th anniversary. Why not pledge 40,000? I wrote out the account details without knowing how I would pay it. As at that time, my job was paying me exactly 40,000. Is someone hearing me? If you are hearing, say, I hear you. I wrote out the account details without knowing how I would pay it. As at that time, my job was 40,000. God asked me to pledge. This was hard to obey. It can't be easy. It's not easy, but it's possible. But I did it. It was hard, but I did it. At the end of November, I paid him my salary and trusted God to see me through December, and he did. In December, I went through a recruitment process and I was hoping I would resume that, that job in January. Unfortunately, they didn't get back to me. A day to Christmas, I saw another vacancy and applied for the job with no hope because it was a much higher role. Higher role. The first Monday of the year, which was 3rd of January, I got an assessment from the company to submit on Wednesday. By Wednesday, I submitted the assi assessment. I submitted the assessment, and before the end of the day, I got an interview invite for the next day. I had a panel interviewing me on Thursday, and I almost wasn't hopeful for the job because all the questions the recruiters kept asking me. I didn't have enough clue on what they were asking me. <laughs> By Thursday night, my LinkedIn, link, LinkedIn profile had been checked twice by the recruiter. I became so worried. Friday morning, she called to ask some questions. That, that was it. Monday the 10th of January, I got an offer letter from the company. Yes, put those hands together. I got an offer from the company. Get, get ready for this. It was earning 40,000. Asking to pay me seven times of what my present company is paying me. And they also asked me to choose a convenient date when I should resume. And I chose tomorrow. Tomorrow is 17th. So I'm going to resume tomorrow. I want to give God all the glory. Because covenant, come on, stand up, do something. Are you looking at me?
don't call that a miracle. I wonder what is miracle. And it is happening every time. That's why I am asking you, if God does anything for you, send it in for, for, to encourage people, to let them know that these things, are not, we are not faking it. We are not faking these things. These things are real. We are not faking it. The world works. The goodness of God will run you over. I say it will run you over. That's what will happen to you this year. I say that's what will happen to you this year. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Lord. That sister, I, I saw, saw you testify. Yeah, you, you looking at me. You, you, you. Yeah. I don't know what you're looking for, but I saw God meeting that need at the point of your need. Hallelujah. And that brother in black mask, I saw something lifted over your head. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I saw you testifying, you sister. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Thank, thank Jesus for it. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we exalt you. We adore you. We magnify you. Blessed be your name forever. Thank you, Jesus. His goodness will run over us. Yeah. Will run over us. Some of you are going to live in houses you didn't build. You are going to ride cars that you never bought with your money. That you may know that Jehovah has spoken over your life. He's coming with his acceleration and healing in his wings. He will bear you on the eagle's wings. Can I hear loud amen? amen. The loudest amen. amen. Your life will not be cut short. Ritual killers, kidnappers, armed robbers, bandits, they will never see you. I said they will never see you. We have been eternally forgiven, eternally redeemed. We have eternal inheritance. And so there is nothing. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. Can I hear a loud amen? amen? And so no one will waste your life. Amen. Election is coming. We are hearing all kinds of nonsense. Ritual killing and wickedness in high places. But I'm praying for you, every living tremite, none of them will see you. I said they will never see you. They will never see your children. Your children will not enter one chance bus. You will not enter one chance keke. You will not enter one chance bicycle. Your life will not be cut short. Your life will not be cut short. Your life will not be cut short. How can they? How can they kill you just like that? When you have not finished what God said you will do. Your colorful destiny that God has packaged for you. So somebody will just come and waste it. It will never happen. I say it will never happen. It will never happen. Creation will work on your behalf. 
the trees, the mountain, the valley, the river, desert, streams and wells, the air, the snow, the, the wind, the sun, the rocks, the rain, elements. I declare they will work on your behalf. They will work on your behalf. I release creative minds, ideas and concepts. I release creativity, ideas and concepts. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name. Everyone shout a living name, amen. A believing amen. amen. Everyone prepare your offering, prepare your tithes. Online, offline, off, and those of you who are on site, all over the world, as you see the, the mode of giving on the screen, the account details, ensure that you are obedient to the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to yoke with you partner with you in your kingdom if you need that money you didn't you don't have to ask any man you don't have to ask a cattle on the thousand hills the beast of the forest fowls of the air rubies and diamond the earth they all belong to you and the fullness thereof and so i ask your blessing upon our tithes and our offerings Thank you for rebuking the devourer for our sakes. Thank you that we are living under an open heaven. Thank you that nations of the world will call us blessed. Thank you you are open to us your good treasure, the heaven to give us rain in the season. You made us plenty us in goods. Thank you because we cannot be small. We cannot be small. We cannot be small. We are cut out for bigness. Thank you because you take delight in our prosperity. I thank you for our offerings. Lord, you have caused men to give to us good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Men give to our bosom. Thank you because our meal barrel will never run dry. Money will not embarrass anyone. Thank you for meeting every need according to your riches in glory. Father, we give you all the praise. Lord, we recover all. We recover all. We recover all. There shall be meat in your house. There shall always be meat in your house. Father, we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right.
Go ahead, celebrate the gifted hands. Come on. All right. Let's receive offering for our brothers and sisters that need assistance. Let's receive offering. I didn't say let's give them tip. Let's receive an offering. Offering that will be a sweet smelling savour in the nostrils of our God. Let's go out of our way and thank God for them. They are not going to remain the same. They not, don't remain the way they are. They will also rise up from the, the position of need to the point where they are also a blessing to others. If you are prepared, they are offering, you can also transfer it to the account. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for our brothers and sisters. We thank you for your plans and purposes concerning them. We thank you for the privilege, O oh God, of ministering to them with our substance. I ask your blessing upon our gifts. Father, we thank you because you are bringing them out of the position of need to a position where they also be instruments in your hands. I command every need met, every budget met in their lives. They will not be stranded. The enemy will not have them in derision. The devil will not mock them. I declare it on the authority of God's word. Meet every one that is responding at the point of their needs, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Have a wonderful week. Remember Tuesday, there's service Friday, there's prayers. God bless you real good is my prayer. Amen. <laughs>